Hello everyone and welcome. This will be a collective message uh, for whoever it is meant for. And uh, we will just shuffle and uh, see what is going to come out. What you need to know right now. Remember please, it is a general reading, collective reading. It's not for any specific zodiac sign. Hmm. That is quick. Resolve. This is a period of indecision and in a conflict. It's time to make a decision. And we'll shuffle for another one. Just to give us a theme here for your reading. What spirit wants you to know right now? Hibernation. Your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest. Resolve and hibernation. So, a period of indecision and inner conflict. It's time to make a decision. Very important. And I do feel that it is an important message. And Spirit is asking you with the hibernation card here to uh, definitely make time for yourself, alone time, so that you can rest and meditate. You need quietness. You need quietness and calm so that you can make an important decision. I feel like for those that this message is meant for today, definitely I feel like you would know about this. It's This is not going to come as a surprise because I definitely get the energy here of a decision that you know you have had to make and you've been putting it off and uh, sort of putting it on the back burner, rather getting busy, running around, uh, I really feel like uh, there is a little bit of avoidance here. So let's see what I can channel more regarding this decision, this inner conflict that you need to actually just sit down and stay squarely in the face. Mm. What have you been avoiding? What have you been avoiding? What has been worrying you so, so much, you guys, this camera? Sorry about that. Uh, what have you been avoiding facing, thinking about? This is definitely <laughs> uh, not a lack of energy that I'm picking up there. Avoidance, denial. Let's see, let's see. And even in the cards, in the shuffling of the cards, I could feel that resistance. Uh, you guys can probably even, you see, even the cards, they don't want to. They are resisting. What are you resisting? Just giving them a good shuffle. And let's see what else can we channel for the collective right now regarding this indecision and inner conflict. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups reversed, and the Five of Pentacles reversed, top of the deck. Mm absolutely conflict conflict here yeah. right the underlying energy queen of cups let me just show you guys queen of cups in the upright ace of cups in the reverse and the five of pentacles in the reverse Definitely, this is surrounding love, a decision, and in a conflict, surrounding love and emotions. Are you, or have you, fallen out of love with someone, or has someone fallen out of love with you? Is that what it seems like, and have you been not wanting to face 
this reality. I'm definitely getting a message here that perhaps someone that you care about doesn't seem to feel the same about you anymore. And uh, this has been difficult for you to face. This has been difficult for you to face. And instead, you have uh, focused your attention, I feel like, on earthly things, running around, like I said earlier, so that you can distract yourself from having to face this conflict. You do feel it on the inside, uh, but you're not doing anything about it because you are not facing this thing that you need to decide about. You know, it's like, if I can give you an example, it's like, uh, it's like, you know you are sick. You know that there's something wrong. You know that you don't quite feel right, but you don't want to go to the doctor because you're actually scared of the diagnosis. Exactly the same type of energy here. Uh, but I don't think that you are going to get a disappointment if you actually do man up and face whatever you need to face regarding this relationship. If there is someone in your life and you feel like things are not quite right with them, you feel like this person doesn't feel the same about you anymore, it's no use for you to go into denial and be afraid of the truth. Um, it's really no use. <laughs> It's just going to be better for you to rip off that band-aid and, and just do yourself the favor of taking yourself out of this period of limbo. You know, keeping yourself in, in, in a state of limbo because you are afraid of the answers or afraid of the things that you might find out is, is just really extending your suffering. It's just so much better actually to to rip it off, to rip that plaster off, that band-aid, and to just know what you need to know. And uh, these are the cards on top of the deck. Uh, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, Five of Wands in the upright with the chariot. Exactly like I say, it might hurt like a hell. It might hurt like H-E-L-L. -L for you to do this and to actually come face to face with this conflict but spirit is really encouraging you to do just that i feel like if you should just like i say rip off that band-aid do what you have to it's not going to feel good absolutely not it's not going to feel good and it Unfortunately, it's not supposed to feel good. That's earth for you, okay? That's earth. Earth has been set up. I hope you guys can't hear my stomach crumbling here. Sorry if you do. Earth has been designed to be a place of hardship because um, it's in hardship and through hardship that we, that we uh, don't like where we are. We don't like this energy. And that's when we decide to stand up and face what we have to face and work with that conflict. You see, this is working with the conflict in a constructive manner, taking it, facing it, embracing it and saying, right, you are in my life, uh, whatever conflict, whatever decision, whatever fear that I'm facing at the moment, you are here, you are here for a reason, I'm going to see you as a tool that I can use for my benefit, so let me work with you constructively, let me rip off the band-aid and do what I don't feel like doing and just do the work, just do the work and get it done. I said to someone, a client yesterday, you know, if you hate school, you've got a choice, you can either choose you can either choose to drag your feet and to be a big baby about it and to stretch it out for 10 more years than you need to, or you can buckle down. You see with the chariot here, you can buckle down the chariot and the five of wands and just do what you have to do. It's like when you're a kid and um, you've got pumpkin on your plate and you, you hate pumpkin. Uh, you hate a pumpkin, but you decide 
to eat it up first and then enjoy the rest. You see, that's exactly the same message that I'm getting for you guys today. Whoever this message is for, don't be afraid anymore. And and I honestly don't think like, or I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel like you will be disappointed in the truth that will be coming out. Let's see. When my collective the person that I'm reading for this morning, should they rip the band-aid off and face this inner conflict and go into hibernation for a while? Remember, there's the advice for you guys. You're really going to get answers and direction and guidance and clarity if you first go into this hibernation period. Uh, giving your soul the required rest uh, and alone time to really meditate on this, right, and how to tackle this. But let's see the possible outcome for you if you should actually just stand and face it. Stand and face it and get the answers and the truth and the clarity that you need. Because, you know, with the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit is saying it's not fair for you. It's not fair for you to live with this a brewing inside of you, uh, to live with this worry. Am I loved still? Am I loved still? Am I, am I still in the loving fold or not? So you need clarity. It's not fair for you. To go around life carrying this inside of yourself let me just give it a few more shuffles here let's have a look at the possible outcome what can my collective find out if they should stand strong and face this conflict so that they can make a decision that will be for their highest good Right, let's see. See, High Priestess in the reverse. You will no longer be feeling as if you are in the dark. You don't know what's going on. Uh, like these in hidden or secret information that you are not able to access. So you're going to get some clarity information. Um, And you'll be able with the star card in the reverse to the six of swords in the reverse with this clarity that you will be getting through the high priestess reversed. I definitely get the message here that you will be able to turn things around. Whatever was harmed, whatever was injured, whatever might have been damaged in the relationship that is represented by the Queen of Cups to the Ace of Cups, whatever may have gone wrong or slightly wrong or off the way, I want to say, you guys will be able to, with this information, you'll be able to turn it around. I see a turnaround here. I see a turnaround. Death, Knight of Cups in the upright to the Ten of Cups in the reverse. The clarity and information that you will be receiving when you face this, when you stand and face this, is actually going to lead you to quite a big transformation in whatever this relationship is that has been concerning you. Um, and you will be able to find a way for yourself to make your partner happy again. So this is basically the reading uh, for those of you who have been in a relationship or a situationship and you have been feeling like your partner might have been cooling off slightly or uh, you haven't been sure about the state of your relationship with this Queen of Cups. Uh, those of you who has been a little bit in denial about facing this and staring it squarely in the eyes and saying, all right, right, partner, 
Can we have a conversation? Are we still in love? Are you still in love with me? Do I still make you happy? Uh, what am I doing wrong? What have I done wrong? Uh, what can I do to improve our relationship, to make you feel more loved and supported? And I really feel like you will have a great opportunity to turn things around in this relationship where you will feel like you are doing the right thing towards your partner. You are giving them the kind of love and support that they are currently requiring. So um, mm, this is good. I really, you see, at the bottom of my other deck here, power struggle. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. Uh, this could be an issue in the relationship, you know. Um, if you have been feeling like that in your relationship, I really feel like just stop, think about it, go into meditation, ponder this and approach your partner openly and uh, uh, transparently and put it all out on the table instead of going into a power struggle and uh, mind games. Who's going to break first? Who's going to give information first? Rather just put it on the table and um, resolve to make a decision here for yourself, for your partner, and for all the players in this situation, for everybody's highest good. I want to see if I can grab some advice for you. I think I'll take the Moonology deck. advice and guidance here for my beautiful collective involved in a waning love relationship for encouragement for the highest good and best outcome please Ooh. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's time to take action because Spirit is promising you with the full moon in Libra following that truly a win-win outcome is definitely guaranteed for you because you'll be able through this facing of this fear, fa through facing the fear of knowing the truth, you'll be able to know what you need to let go of, if anything at all, so that you can take the right and balanced actions with this new moon in Libra. You see, Libra is the scales balance um, so that you can start doing right by your partner. Have the conversation, take the action because a win-win outcome is forecast, you guys. What do you need to release? So I honestly feel just have it, have the conversation, have faith and have the trust that your partner truly does love you, Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Cups, even in its reversed position, it's still love. It's just not so lacquer at the moment, but it's still love. So um, have faith and trust that your partner does love you and that you can make it right. If only you get the right direction in uh, learning what your partner needs at the moment so that you can provide that. And also at the same time, Take the opportunity to let your partner know what it is that you want in the situation at the moment so that they can also feel like um, they are supporting you and loving you in the correct way. I hope that this message assisted someone out there. Please give us a thumbs up if it did. Claim it in the comments if you are looking for this win-win outcome uh, to happen in your life and I will catch you guys in my next one. God bless.